It has been forever in six weeks, three days, 46 hours, 28 minutes, 34 seconds since I talked to you guys. What's going on, fashion friends? I am coming to you all to just give you all an update and to give you all a positive message and to just uplift all of my fashion friends, all of my new fashion friends. I just want to say, hey, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for just, you know, beginning to experience my journey. All my long fashion friends that have been there since the beginning. Remember the laptop and the mattress days? Hello, good boy i just want to say what's going on to all of you guys i still have mad love for all of you you guys know i do i have been so super busy it has been crazy i'm officially back in washington dc just coming back from los angeles i stayed a few months out there doing some projects um with filming doing some projects when it's come to meeting new boutique owners and hosting fashion show events and potential fashion shows that I'll be heading back out to LA to produce. Also, I did the BET Awards 2011, even though it was a little ghetto, but it still looks good on my resume. So I did the BET Awards, I did casting, and I was assisting with models for that project. Project. Big ups to Natasha Bryson and um, Opal for just allowing me to come on board with this whole BET project. Thank you guys so much. That was like awesome. The whole BET weekend was super flat. I just want to thank you guys so much for having me on. Um, It has been a lot going on lately. Like, girl, we got some tea to catch up on, honey, okay? Like, oh my goodness, I have been going through the rain like Tanya Blunt. I said, through the rain, only with a year. I'm going to get that note one day. But um, oh, before I get into the message, I do want to say that I am about to be signed to a talent agency, sort of like in Los Angeles. And this guy, he's going to be representing me. I don't want to say too much just yet, but I'm going to have a rep. I'm going to have PR and I'm going to have somebody represent me in L.A. by the name of Quasi Goro or Guru Goro. Something like that, girl. But um. I am truly excited about starting this whole new process with him. This is what I always wanted to have my show pitched to a mainstream network so that I can do fashion corresponding or even get to a point where, you know what, I'll have my own show, which is coming. So this is truly a blessing. I am so thankful just for the network, the networking and the contacts that I made and the time that I spent in LA that I used it extremely wisely. So... You never know what's going to happen anymore, J.K. to me, just be on the tizzy, okay? So, um, the message that I want to talk to you guys today is about a lot of what I've been going through. And I have a process that I've been going through. It's called the let it go process. Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go. But, um, I've been going through a let it go process. And... This has to be the hardest process of my life because it's kind of like I'm transitioning to like, you know, this young man to an adult or to this young man to a fashionista, to this young man to this fashion guru, to this young man to a grown one, okay? But, um, I have been going through so much lately, fashion friends, on internally when it has come to this whole let it go process. Um, things have not been as easy as they've seemed, especially with the videos. You know, we've been doing real good with filming the, all these latest episodes. You know, you, you guys see me at, you know, my best, honey, but you're now getting the, the more jet, you know? But I've been going through so much with the whole let it go process because I wanted to, to talk to you guys that I feel that are grinding just like me, that are trying to get to the level, the the next level just like me, and will get to that level. I kind of feel like this is something that you all need to hear as well because this is something that I'm doing that's helping me. Um, I had this quote in my head that I put up on my Twitter and that I put up on Facebook, and it said that if I can quote it correctly, I, I it was my quote. I should. I said that life is a process. Learn how to let things go and let that process happen. When we hold on to things, we begin to stipend our growth. Something like that. Um, the reason that made me come to that type of quote was because I was holding on to a lot of things in my life that honestly was stifling my growth, honestly was not helping me or benefiting me in any way. And by holding on to things, it could have it could be grudges. 
It could be holding on to people that God's trying to take out of your life in order to bring in new people. It it could be situations that I wanted to hold on to, such as with, um, what can I say about situations? Um, financial situations or just letting a lot of negative things tend to get me down and by getting me down that began to reflect on my work and that began to reflect on my personal relationships with people and I've been going through a whole let it go process and this process honestly isn't easy because when it comes to people letting go I'm already the type of person that I don't have many people around me in the first place so it's kind of like when people do go it's like a hard thing to to let them go it's like you know what oh goodness god lord why this person you know this person was supposed to be here this person was supposed to stay right here in this place and it's like god is saying you know what i want to mean to get so religious on you guys anyway i mean if you guys worship a donkey or you worship a mule or a horse or a buddha or whoever you're worshiping let this video apply to you so anyway back to what i'm doing so it was like, Lord, why this person? Like, why these people? Like, what's up with that? And it's like all of these things are needed in order for you to grow. I, a lot of that holding on, I felt came from insecurities and being dealing with loneliness being being not loneliness but not wanting to be alone and i'll i'll be honest with you guys because i feel like that's what we do i it got to a point that i didn't want to be alone so i would hold on to people and i would hold on to things just to fill those voids and it got to a point and it was like you know what i don't need these people around me or i don't need these type of these type of energies around me to fill this void. I need to learn how to be content and happy with my own company before I can be content and happy with anybody else's company. So it got to a point where, you know, I got into situations with people and people had to totally honestly leave. And I didn't get upset by it. I just was, I, I threw my hands up and I was like, you know what, this process has to happen. I'm learning how to enjoy my own company. I'm learning how to, you know, go out and do what I need to do. Hence why I went out there to L.A. And I made things happen on my own terms. I made things happen myself. I really applied myself to attract certain things to me. Fashion friends, I hope this message can definitely help you because I want... I want you all to know that whatever you're holding on to, whatever you're let, whatever you're, you're you're keeping around you that you feel like you have to have there, you need to let it go. Life is a process, and whenever you begin to stifle that process, you begin to stifle your growth. You know, and you're, if you're trying to get to the next level, you really have to let things go. As in with grudges with people, as in with people around you that may honestly not even be good for you. And once those people are gone, you'll be like, you know what? Wow, I really didn't even need that person there. It's like I'm doing this on my own. Sometimes we keep people in our lives just for crutches, just for an excuse, just to have somebody there to say that somebody is there. And I'm telling you guys that all of those things are so not needed. I remember when I was out there in L.A., right? And um, I was watching Brandy and Ray J's show, and she had Tyrese on her show. He said the most powerful words. I felt like he was speaking to me, but this is this is going off topic, but it's kind of still on the topic. He said that don't let your you don't let your lonely don't let your lonely or your horny be any reason for you to settle for anything less. And I was like, you know what? That is so true. Don't let your lonely or your horny be any reason for you to settle for anything less. And I was like, I refuse to settle. I know my worth. I am a person of worth. I know my worth. I know what to allow in my life. I know how I want to be treated. I know how I will be treated. And certain things that I was holding on to, I was like, you know what? I have to let go. So that process happened and things are constantly moving. I'm going to have a lot of new episodes and stuff like that come out. But it's not even just about the episodes. It's about me internally. Like I'm really feeling so good these days that my life is truly becoming to be aligned up with how I want things to be. Not saying that it's perfect, but however, I'm finally putting everything into perspective. I'm finally just building the roadblocks to success and I can see it start to, starting to happen for me. And it's just like, it's just totally amazing when you learn how to let 
things go for. So you definitely want to make sure that you, whoever you're surrounding yourself with when it comes to being in this industry, you want to make sure that you have a very strong support system. And so many people feel that the need to have numbers as their support system, such as, oh, I have 10 friends, or I have 8 friends. Baby, trust and believe me, at the end of the day, when things aren't going your way, and when you're left there with a dime in your pocket, 9 times out of 10, it all probably falls down to just that one person that one person, maybe even that one and a half person, that those two people, I'll say one though, that's going to be right there in your corner, that's going to support you and ride for you to the end. And nine times out of ten, that person we really don't even pay that much attention to or we really don't even give them that much credit that they deserve. But trust and believe me, there usually is one person that we really don't see in our corner that's, that has our backs up, that's a ride or die person for us until that person even leaves or whatever. But I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's been going on with me and how things are changing and how so much, how I'm just experiencing so much growth. And it, it's such a good thing as to when you can look in the mirror and see it for yourself. I'm just truly thankful of the direction of the show. I'm thankful for all the contacts that I made in Los Angeles. I'm thankful for where I see my future going, and I'm just so thankful that I can inspire so many people, like when I go out here and do all these public speaking events, and how I'm just talking to people, and how they're, how they're taking in everything that I'm giving them and using it and applying it into their own personal lives to making them set their selves better. I thank you guys so much. That just shows such great focus. I'm just all about that. Just, just prosperity, positivity, and growth. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much. I'm not going to hold you on. I'm not going to hold you up. But I have to say there are much more episodes coming. There are more rants coming. I do have some people heads I want to chew off. So trust and believe me, they are coming. But I just wanted to give you all this positive message right now. Just to uplift and encourage, and encourage you guys. So this is Emore J. Couture and I am signing out. I am back in the city. I am here. I feel good. I feel so refreshed and I'm looking forward to see where the future takes me. Okay guys, um, so write some comments, write something. Do what you gotta do, but this is Emotion Couture and I'm out. See you guys.